This is part 6 of Angular 6 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss nested form groups in a reactive form. Along the way, we'll also discuss working with radio buttons. Let's understand nested form groups with an example. So here is what we want to do. In addition to full name and email fields, we also want skill name, experience in years and these three proficiency radio buttons, beginner, intermediate, advanced. Ultimately, what we want to be able to do is add multiple skills dynamically at runtime when this add a new skill button is clicked. When this button is clicked, we want to add these three skill related fields that is skill name, experience in years and proficiency radio buttons to this create employee form. So every time this button is clicked, we want to add another set of these three skill related fields. From a validation standpoint, another additional requirement is to keep this add a new skill button disabled until all of these three skill related fields are properly filled and valid. So in short, the requirement is to dynamically create a group of form fields and also validate them as a single group. So add a new skill button can be enabled or disabled based on the validation state of that form group. This can be very easily achieved using a nested form group. So first, let's look at the changes required in the component class to create a nested form group for skill related fields. Notice first we are creating a root form group and within the root form group, we have a form control for full name and another form control for email. And then here we are creating a nested form group, again using the same form group class. And the key for this nested form group is skills. So within this form group, we have three form controls for the skill related fields. We have a form control for skill name, experience in years and proficiency. It's that easy to create a nested form group in the component class. Notice within our create employee component, we already have a root form group and within that we have form controls for full name and email. Now let's create a nested form group. The key for the nested form group is going to be skills. And to create the nested form group, we use the form group class constructor. To this, let's pass an object and then specify the three form controls that are going to be part of this form group. The key for the first form control is skill name. And the value, as you can see, is an instance of form control class. Along the same lines, let's create the form controls for experience in years and proficiency. Now let's look at the changes required in the view template. First, we need to create the three HTML input fields. First, we have a text box here for skill name and another text box for experience in years. And then we have three radio buttons for proficiency, beginner, intermediate, advanced. We need to group all these HTML elements. So we place them in a div element. And then we need to bind this div element to the form group that we have created in the component class. For that, we are making use of the form group name directive and the value for this, as you can see, is the name of the form group that we have created in the component class. Along the same lines, we need to bind each HTML input element to its associated form control instance in the component class. For that, we are going to make use of this form control name directive and look at the value for that. It's the name of the form control instance that we have in our component class, in this case, skill name. Similarly, we bind experience in years and finally proficiency radio buttons. For radio buttons, we use form control name directive on all the three radio buttons and the value in this case is the name of that same form control instance, which is proficiency. Now let's do the changes in the view template. I've already copied the required HTML to the clipboard in the interest of time. So after email form control, let's paste that HTML. Notice we have the skill label here and then an input element for skill name. This is a text box and we are binding this HTML input element to its associated form control instance in the component class using the form control name directive. Look at the value of this directive. It is skill name, which is the name of the form control instance we have in our component class. Along the same lines, we are binding this text box experience in years to its associated form control instance in the component class. 
and then we have the three proficiency radio buttons notice on each radio button we are using the form control name directive to bind to its associated form control instance name and then we have both these development inside another development that has this form group name directive and we are using this directive to bind this development to its associated form group name in the component class which is skills so we have that same name specified right here let's save all these changes and take a quick look at the browser notice we have our root form group right here within the root form group we have our nested form group starting here look at the pair of curly braces within this nested form group we have all the three skill related fields skill name experience in years proficiency now notice as i start to type in these html input elements the associated form model properties that we have right here are updated including this nested form group now notice as i fill the skill related fields the nested form group is updated in our upcoming sessions we'll discuss dynamically adding these three skill related form controls to our create employee form we'll also discuss form validation including validating form controls that are dynamically added that's it in this video thank you for watching and have a great day